Hello friends, I am Sravana Lakshmi Pisupati and welcome to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss uh, how to deal with a multi-source formatted file. So before starting uh, with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and provide your feedback in the comment section. Thank you. So today we will see that uh, for example if this is the file you are dealing with, usually the log files that are generated uh, during the uh, like uh, any any web server logs and all it will be similar to this uh, format so if you see here the host name comma date comma and then when JSON format is there so now we have to flatten that structure to web server host and second column as log date and inside this request we have response inside the response again we have history HTTP and some some columns ha some rows have code column as well so now let's see how we can flat this structure to this fully uh, like flattened uh, table structure how so for this uh, usually we uh, there are many other ways but uh, here we will see how to do that with JSON tuple so let's look into some sample code to see how this can be implemented So friends, this is the sample code I have written for explaining this uh, functionality. Created the call object, define main method, set this property so that winutils.exe exception will be resolved and created a Spark session uh, for this session and created a data frame. In this data frame, if you see, I have used spark.read.option as escape. That is because in the input file, if you see there are two double quotes present usually in web web server logs when they are returning as a json format it will come with double quotes so for uh, reading that double quotes i am saying that escape that means you don't consider that double quote and then it has a header in the input file so i am saying that header is true and i am also giving the option as multi line as true because the JSON whichever is contains right it has a response and inside that again it has three different uh, columns or we can say JSON objects so because of that I have used this option as multi line as true then finally I am saying read the dot CSV file I just showed you right that is the CSV file that that is the log data dot CSV it had the first two fields are comma separated and the third one is uh, a JSON file uh, JSON uh, format so now without uh, uh, like if we just directly run this uh, data frame let's see how it will look like so if you see here web server host one column is created log date and again entire request that entire json uh, format the it is dumped to the third column which is request so now let's see how we can flatten that third column so now let's uh, create one uh, data frame D df dot with column we say json data because we are dealing with json i just kept it some random name and the, with this name the new column will be generated and here json tuple it is the spark inbuilt function so i have imported org apache spark sql functions so you have to import that when you are using any of the functions so for json tuple i have used that function and i can actually instead of uh, underscore or placeholder we can all, uh, usually directly say that json tuple we can uh, import that as well directly no need to download all the libraries so in the json tuple it's a function usually the tuple which takes two parameters first one is the string json string and second one is the like column name in the json which column you wanted to split it as uh, i mean it, uh, normal objects currently it is in the json objects right it will return the normal objects in the sense for example if you have a b c and keys and values pairs it will give all the key values based on the name that you have mentioned here so it will split this response into various objects 
so now it, once it is done we will do select on top of it let's say i mean uh, here i'll show you two ways how to do that uh, you, you can actually use select as well okay where new df dot select again we have to use json tuple because in the response again it has inner json see inside response it's not a uh, simple json it's a nested json so if that if this alone is there then no need of you, you no need of using second json dot tuple but here we have a nested json which is like a two line json i mean multi line json i have used the json tuple again so what i am saying that is json tuple of new df which is created here as json data this is this is we just created in the above data frame and here i am saying that from this uh, uh, json string fetch history http and code columns then show now let's see uh, how the output will be and then i'll explain you why we shouldn't use this and why we should use the other functionality If you see here, it has created three uh, columns. First one is history, second one is HTTP, and third one is the code. And here, if you see, the columns were not uh, like we cannot uh, make uh, any uh, rename of the columns again. Again, for each column, we may need to um, have a with column renamed function for renaming each column. And also. Uh, like any other uh, select uh, usually we can do like this right but here it, it won't allow you because we are using that json tuple and all so it won't allow you so uh, with when you use select you can only uh, i mean uh, flatten the json string but we we cannot like it has another two fields right uh, some web server host and the date so we cannot use that so usage of select will not be suitable for us and also we cannot rename the column names so now let's see how we can achieve the same using the with column functionality so now what i am saying that here is from the new df which is like the second uh, uh, stage after splitting the json into different objects by removing the response now it has only the single line json which will contain history http and code so now i am saying that for each uh, history i mean for history uh, with the column history i am saying from json tuple from there we have to pass uh, two parameters for the json tuple first one is the json string and second one is the column uh, like json object for which you wanted to read from that uh, json similarly for http i follow the same and i am saying that i need the http from this json third one is the code column name i am giving and from the json tuple i am saying that fetch the code then i am saying that to drop the request and json data because i don't need these two this request is the uh, uh, like which is there in the csv and json data is the one which we created here for the entire json string now let me run this and uh, show you how the output looks like So friends, if you see here, web server host logged it and history HTTP code, even all these things have flattened structure now. It, it became like a CSV and we are successfully flattened the JSON uh, data inside that CSV file. Hope the, this is clear friends. Yeah, I'll again show you the input file, how it is like. This is the web server host. This is the date. And then inside this whatever response inside the response we have history and http right the same thing we have flattened that into normal columnar uh, i mean row uh, relation normal table so we are able to do that using the json tuple function uh, so friends uh, uh, i think this is uh, very clear to you uh, you can freeze the screen and go between the file and and uh, uh, this uh, code you can compare how to do that and you can try on your own machines and uh, let me know your feedback in the comment section and uh, if at all you are facing any issues also let me know i can uh, try to solve them and uh, 
थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग द वीडियो फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग लर्निंग्स थैंक यू